experience total healing and total freedom okay from any uh alam niyo yung mga brokenness mo sa puso mo or you want to experience um, peace in your heart you need to rebuild your sin to, to, to the person that you trusted the most hi my name is Adrian Milag and welcome to Kuya A Blog of inspiration. You know, the Bible says that you need to uh, admit your sin to one another, to pray for one another, and you will be healed. Kasi, kasi katulad, kasi ang kasalanan, ang, ang, ang yang, yang, yang kasalanan, kasi yan yung kinahiya natin. Okay? We are ashamed of, of our sins. And, ay natin siya i-reveal. Okay, ayon natin siya, tiyatago lang natin siya sa sariling na, sa sarili lang natin siya. Minsan, in denial pa tayo sa mga ano yung kasalanan na, na nagawa natin or may makinahiya tayo sa buhay natin. Pero, ang sin is just para yung ano eh, ang bacteria. Okay, na pag nilagay mo sa madilim, mas lalo siya lumalaki, mas lalo siyang diba, nag, uh, nag-spread. Okay, but those bacteria okay pag pag uh, di ba pag naarawan siya pag you expose it to light it will die okay it will die it's just like on our sin maybe you are struggling right now with your sin okay some uh, sin na paulit-ulit na nagii-struggle ka maybe kaya ka nang struggle paulit-ulit kasi tiyatago mo, you're in denial. Maybe, you need a accountability partner that you can share that problem. <clears throat> or you need to confess, you need to go to confession to reveal that uh, sin na tiyatago mo for the longest time. You know, you need to accept it. You need to embrace it. Okay? You need that gusto kung gusto mo makawala okay sa bandage of sin you need to expose it and you need someone that you na may pagshare ka someone na ipagdadasal ka you know if you don't know my story okay I've been addicted to pornography in the sin of the flesh and you know for the longest time, for many years, I had this struggle, okay? Paulit-ulit ako na fall Paulit-ulit ako na nagkakasala. And yung, yung mga time na yun, na paulit-ulit sa cycle, yun yung kinahiya ko siya. Na ayaw ko siyang uh, sabihin sa ibang tao, sino pa naman maging proud sa kasalanan mo, right? But you know, the moment I uh, experienced God, like, the moment that I came to know Jesus, uh, at the moment that, uh, that I belong to a community, okay, then I became part of a small group, which is like group. Ito yung mga group of people na pwede mong pag-sharean. Ito yung mga trusted people na magdadasal sa'yo. Then, when I began to share my sin to them, yung liberate yung unti-unti ko nang natatanggal yung kasalanan. Unti-unti nagle-lesson na yung kasalanan ko. Parang unti-unti na siyang humina. Doon nagsimula that I sin less. Doon nagsimula that I experienced this total healing and freedom in my heart from that bandage of sin. And, you know kasi may mga tao na nandyan that will accept you for who you are. That, and, doon mo ma-realize na Oh nga, no? we need one another. That we had dif- uh, different weaknesses. Meron tayong sarili-saliling mga weaknesses. Okay? And and I believe with all my heart um, pinapanood mo to because God wants to to liberate you. God wants to to pakawala ka na from that bandage of sin. 
okay, go to that accountability a partner or sino na isip mo that itong tao na to that are so close to God that uh, you know that he or she can pray for you that he can help you okay and i believe if you will start that don't magsisimula okay diyan magsisimula na makawala ka sa anumang kasalanan or or that cycle of sin na paulit-ulit mong ginagawa that uh, negative habits in your life Oh, na 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 paulit-ulit na nafo-fall ka. And or maybe you need to go to confession. Okay, you need the sacrament of confession. You know that confession is very powerful. It's sobrang powerful na to. Siguro for 20 years, 10 years or 30 years di ka pa nakapunta ng confession. Go to confession. Okay, you need to do that. And I I I believe that if you will do that, <laughs> grab it. You will experience the mercy and the grace of God through confession. So I hope na bless at inspire ka sa message ko ngayon. And if you want more tips and inspiration from me, just go to my website at www.adriamilag.net So again, this has been Adrian Milag. I'm praying for you always. God bless you more abundantly.